Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby in case you don't know and today I'm going to be talking about some of the different things that I've been doing recently to try and minimise my like stress and anxiety. Um, obviously there is so much going on in the world at the moment so that can cause a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety and so in this video I'm going to be talking about some of the things that I have tried recently to try and reduce that stress and that anxiety. So in general I am the kind of person who does get really worried and I do get anxious and I do get really stressed about things. Sometimes it's for something genuine but sometimes it can be like a small thing that in my head I just like blow it out of proportion. Before I forget I just need to add in this little disclaimer that none of the things that I have included in this video should be in place of going to see a doctor. If you are struggling I do highly encourage you to go and speak to a professional. These are just some things that I personally have tried myself at home. These may not work for everyone and you may have a different experience to me with these different things. I know at the moment it can be more difficult to get help with regards to your mental health just because so many people are struggling at the moment. So whether you're on a long waiting list or are unable to get in contact with your doctor or anything like that, these are some little things that you can be doing kind of in the meantime or to supplement like professional help that you are getting. So the first thing I decided to do right at the very very beginning of the lockdown or the quarantine is I bought the Animal Crossing game. I literally bought the Animal Crossing game the day that I found out I was not going to be going to work because honestly I thought that I needed something that I could spend my time doing because I was like what on earth am I going to be spending all day every day doing at home? I don't have a television in my room. I don't really watch telly in general and I was going from working just about 40 hours a week plus going to university in the evenings to university being closed and my work also being closed so I was wondering what the heck I was going to be spending all my time doing and this was before I had started uploading videos on YouTube as well and Animal Crossing I really enjoyed it because it helped to give me a focus on something that I could do. It stopped me from having so much free time to worry and in general the game itself has a really calming atmosphere and things and I know that other people particularly towards the beginning kind of of the pandemic a lot of people have also been using Animal Crossing to help with stress relief and I would say that it is is a really nice calming activity but I would also say if you are still trying to be productive that day Animal Crossing might not be the best solution because if you start playing on Animal Crossing in the morning it's so easy to just play it all day long and I know I have had a lot of days doing this particularly towards the beginning of lockdown and that was literally all I was doing all day every day it really did take my mind off stress what I tend to do now though is do whatever I'm doing during the day and then I'll use Animal Crossing as a de-stressing activity in an evening or something like that rather than spending entire days straight playing the game but if you've got the time to do it and you enjoy it honestly you know why not but at the moment I don't want to be spending my days all day every day playing games but honestly I could Animal Crossing is so good I really do recommend it if you have a Nintendo Switch I don't know if it's on any other consoles personally I really enjoyed it and I really did find it relaxing and calming to play I like that you can set yourself different goals so it might be collecting all the fish you might say to yourself right now I'm gonna collect every single single fish and then you might be on a mission to fish and collect all of them and donate them to the museum anyway so that's why I really love Animal Crossing honestly I could go on and make a whole video about it but that is not this video 
Okay, so another thing that I've been trying to reduce my stress and anxiety is doing yoga. So basically, when I realized that I was playing Animal Crossing all the time and I would literally wake up in the morning, get dressed, and then sit on my bed playing Animal Crossing for the rest of the day, put on my pajamas, get into bed, and that was it. It was just a cycle of being in bed, sleeping, or sitting on my bed playing Animal Crossing. I realized that I was hardly moving during a day, and I was like, I'm gonna get really stuck stiff and I was starting to get stiff and I wasn't getting any exercise and because I was so stressed and anxious I didn't want to leave the house to go on walks so I started to think about what kind of exercise I could do at home and for me personally I didn't want to do so many like home workout like cardio things because for me I associate that with having to lose weight and burn loads of calories which was not what I wanted I didn't think that would be helpful for me. I realized that I wasn't in a very good mindset and that if I did start doing those workout videos, I would probably get obsessive about it just because I know what I'm personally like. Obviously, they probably work for other people doing home like cardio videos, but for me, I did not want to do something that I associated with trying to lose weight and look better. I just wanted to do some exercise that would make me feel good and get me moving and stop me from feeling so stiff so for the past two months I have been doing yoga so at first I was doing videos from Sarah Beth's yoga and there was a variety of different ones that I would do and um, there was some that I would do before bed she has like morning yoga routines she has all sorts and she has some for stress and anxiety and they were really good I really really enjoyed those videos but I decided that I wanted to do something with a bit more of a focus because basically I was clicking on loads of different yoga videos and some were for different like levels so some were for beginners some were for intermediate and there wasn't much structure as much as I enjoyed it I thought you know I'm doing some of these videos but I don't even know all the basics so that's when I decided to try out yoga with Adrienne's 30 days of yoga and I have almost completed that now I have uh, I think I'm on day 26 or something like that so I'm very very close to finishing the 30 days and I would definitely do more of her yoga videos in the future and she in her videos and Sarah Beth does as well actually they both say like positive affirmations throughout the videos and it's all about taking time for yourself and taking time to look after your body and things like that and I know that yoga with Adrienne she really stresses the importance of being proud of what you can do not trying to completely perfect every single pose to like an expert at yoga like you doing your best stretching the best that you can is enough and that's all that you can do just taking that time every day to exercise is just really good for your mental health it's really good for your body i found yoga to be a really calming exercise i've tended to do the yoga videos in the morning and that has really helped put me in a positive mindset for the day and made me feel productive even if it's just i've woken up had my breakfast and then done my yoga I feel like I'm set for the day and yeah honestly I absolutely love it so I do really really recommend yoga with Adrienne if anyone is interested in trying it it can seem a little bit strange at first if you've never done anything like it but honestly once I got into it I really loved it and now I look forward to doing my yoga every morning so the last thing that I have most recently tried is CBD oil I've tried this for just over a week now and I'm just going to play a clip of the day that it arrived and when I first tried it out. So this parcel has just arrived today from Holland and Barrett and it is this CBD oil. 
I did um, sterilise it before I brought it upstairs and everything but I've never tried CBD oil before and it just says to put a few drops under the tongue two to three times a day a maximum of 10 drops a day leave the oil in mouth for a minute before swallowing and gradually build up the dose this is individual do not exceed the daily recommended allowance so I've heard a lot of good things about CBD oil in general not just with stress and anxiety but also having other health benefits so I was really interested in it and I thought I would try it out so I'm gonna go and like put a few drops under my tongue and then I'll come back and let you know what I think and then I will also update you in maybe a few days or weeks time um, just to see whether I feel like it's made a difference like over a longer period of time so I'm just gonna go and try it for the first time and then I'll let you know so I've just taken a few drops of that CBD oil and the first things that I want to talk about is the taste of it was kind of like if you've ever had a brewer's yeast tablet or something like that it kind of tasted like that or like when you get a herbal tea and it is really herbal herbal not sweet just herb but it wasn't it wasn't bad or anything like that I can't tell whether I feel calmer I don't know whether I feel different as a placebo or whether it's actually made a difference so before I actually tried that CBD oil I did have a headache and now I kind of feel like my headache's gone or at least it doesn't feel as bad as it did before like it felt like I had really bad pressure on my head and I don't really have that same feeling anymore I'm not necessarily saying it's because of that I don't know I'm not sure I think I'll know a bit better if I try it out over a longer period of time so I will let you know in a few days maybe a week how I got on with that what I've been doing is I've been following the directions on the bottle which says to take a few drops and place it under your tongue every day um, a few times a day so I've been doing that and I will say that although when you first take it at that exact moment it doesn't have like a drastic impact I didn't really know what to expect I didn't know whether it would be like when you have a drink of alcohol and you can kind of do you know when you get confidence from alcohol and you can kind of feel the switch in your mindset? I didn't know if it would be something like that, but actually it isn't like that at all. At the time, I can't really feel much of a difference, but I would say over the past week since I've been trying the CBD oil, I haven't had that same panicking feeling. Um, if there's something that I'm worried about, I will still be worried about that thing, but it won't be totally consuming my mind to a point where I can't focus on anything else. And I also haven't had like a massive panic. Like sometimes I feel like my heart is really racing. Yeah, it just makes me feel more calmer throughout the day. Um, I would say obviously I have been working on like managing my stress and my anxiety and it has been like a combination of different things it's not just one cure-all and um, obviously I'm working on myself and my own mindset as well as doing these things like taking time for myself and um, doing my yoga taking my CBD oil playing Animal Crossing to relax in the evening it is a combination it's not any one thing and um, just an honorable mention for some other little things that I've been doing is spending some time with my hamsters and looking after them and trying to get some cuddles off my cat JC and um, as well as like doing some hobbies like reading and painting and also I would say just in general having hobbies just is a good way to find something to focus on and not be as stressed or as anxious please let me know in the comments down below anything that you have been doing recently to help manage the stress and anxiety or any of your personal recommendations please let me know in the comments that will help out anyone else who reads them as well and don't forget to give the video a like down below and subscribe that helps me and my channel out so so much so thank you so much for your support Hopefully I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye!